Are you ready for a new detective journey? Then buckle your seatbelts and let's go. Mary was walking through the park when she spotted a hungry kitten. The woman decided to share her snack with the animal. Unfortunately, there was a stream between her and the kitty. She squatted down to attract the cat's attention and showed it the food. The animal was next to her in no time. There was no bridge over the stream and still, the cat wasn't wet. How is it possible? It happened in the winter and the stream was frozen. In a lake, there is a patch of lily pads. Every day, the patch doubles in size. If it takes 48 days for the patch to cover the entire lake, how long will it take for the patch to cover half the lake? The patch doubles in size every day. So on the 47th day, the patch will be half the size it is on the 48th day. You are in a place called Bobby's World, and there is only one law there. There is a mirror, but no reflection. There is pizza with cheese, but not with ham. There is pepper, but no salt. There is a door, yet no entrance or exit. What is the law in this strange world? Everything in Bobby's world must contain double letters in its name. Kenneth was hungry. Oh my God. He found a nice diner that served burgers and bought one. After a waiter brought him his order, Kenneth went to the bathroom to wash his hands. But when he came back, his burger was gone. The guy looked around the diner and understood who had taken his lunch. Hmm. Can you figure it out? It's the young woman with a dog sitting at her feet and sniffing the air. If she was just drinking coffee, which is what she's pretending to do, the dog wouldn't be so interested in her. Look at these two guys. One is big and burly, and the other is short and thin. They're in a cafe, drinking identical drinks. The shorter one gulps his drink down in one go and leaves. The other man sips his drink slowly. Then he falls to the floor and is taken to a hospital. Can you explain why it happened if they had the same drinks? The drinks contained poisoned ice cubes. The man who enjoyed his drink gave these ice cubes time to melt and release the poison, while the other man didn't. An Arab sheikh told his two sons that they had to race their camels to a distant city to see who would inherit his fortune. The one whose camel arrived last would win. After wandering aimlessly for days, the brothers asked a wise man for advice. After listening to his opinion, they jumped on the camels and raced as fast as they could to their destination. What did the man tell them? The wise man told them to switch their camels. Look at these two guys. They're wearing similar clothes, yeah. both holding coffee cups, and in general, seem to be perfectly okay. But one of them is a werewolf in disguise. Which one? Look at the guy on the right. There are strange marks on the rim of his cup. Were they left by his fangs? Also, his pupils are a bit elongated. Oh. And there is a paw print design on the plastic bag he's holding. Is it a special store for werewolves? A rich entrepreneur disappeared from his office. Oh the only thing he left behind was a note with the numbers 6, 4, 9, 10, and 11, and a calendar. The police have five suspects. All of them, the businessman's acquaintances. James, Kevin, Carol, Jason, and Laura. Who knows something about the man's disappearance? Oh. Jason. The numbers mean months of the year, and the first letters of these months make up his name, J-A-S-O-N. A furious traveler at the airport claimed the contents of his baggage had disappeared. When I got my suitcase, it was empty. I want you to compensate for what I've lost. After checking the passenger's info, airport security found out that he had indeed left London with a heavy suitcase, and now his bag was empty and a bit wet. The whole situation was suspicious. Can you figure out what happened? The 
the passenger left London with a suitcase full of ice. During the flight, the ice melted, and the man demanded compensation for the lost belongings. Matthew bought a new smartphone and a phone case. He paid $510. The gadget cost $500 more than the case. How much did Matthew pay for the phone? He paid $505. Last night, on a full moon, several people disappeared in the city. Locals believe that the kidnapper was a werewolf, and you are invited to investigate this case. There are three suspects, Jack, Levi, and Luke, but all of them have alibis. Jack was walking with his girlfriend near the river. Levi was choosing a silver ring for himself in the mall. And Luke, who is a museum guard, had a night shift at work. Which guy is guilty? Jack was walking under a full moon and didn't turn into a werewolf. Levi wasn't afraid to put on silver rings. The werewolf and potential kidnapper is Luke. Detective Black's assistant, Josh, was late for work. Oh. When he arrived, he told his boss the following story. I was driving along the highway when I saw an unconscious man lying on the left side of the road. I picked him up and took him to the nearest hospital. Finally, he came to his senses. He told me he had been pushed out of a moving vehicle, but the bag with all his money and documents was left inside. Strangely, Detective Black told Josh that the man had lied to him. How did he figure it out? If the man had indeed been pushed out of the car, he would have been lying on the right side of the road, not the left one. Criminals caught three men and locked them in a basement with only one window, high above the floor. Oh, no. The men decided that at least one of them needed to escape and warn the police. The men stood on each other's shoulders, but the one on the top still couldn't reach the window. But then they did something, and one of them managed to escape. Can you figure out what they did? tallest of them climbed on the top. And since, proportionally, this man also had longer arms, he managed to reach the window. You find yourself in a room with no windows. There are three doors leading out of the room. Suddenly, a big screen on the wall lights up. You read, Behind each of these doors, there is some danger. The first door leads to a scorching hot desert. Several steps, and the sun will burn you. Behind the second door, there is a hungry alligator that hasn't eaten for a year. And the third door hides a pool with icy water. To get to freedom, you'll have to swim across it. Which door should you choose to survive? Alligators can indeed go without food for up to three years, which means that the creature behind the second door is hungry and dangerous. Freezing water can cause cold shock in an unprepared swimmer. That's why you should choose the first door. You just need to wait for the sun to go down and walk through the desert. Oh, yes. James came to a cafe to drink coffee. Mm. But when a waitress brought him a cup, the man found a fly in his drink. He called the waitress and told her to bring him another coffee. Please. She did. But when James took a sip from his cup, he got really angry and asked to call a manager. He complained that the waitress had brought him the same coffee. How did he understand it? The new coffee was already sweet because James had already put sugar in his first cup before finding the fly. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.